Nos vai ta pao, croiso i quiz natur mawa Cymru. Hello, good evening, welcome to the Big Wales Nature Quiz. The quiz is one of many activities taking place for this year's Wales Nature Week 2021. Thanks so much for joining us. Have your pen and paper at the ready to answer our 40 quiz questions. And do let us know your scores. The chat function will be turned off during the quiz and will be turned on again at the end so you can let us know how you've done. The Big Wales Nature Quiz is brought to you by the four local environmental record centres in Wales. We'll be visiting the four LERCs or local environmental record centres as we journey around Wales with a round of 10 questions from each. We hope you enjoy the quiz. Hot luck. I'm Ben here in Mid Wales, the area covered by the Biodiversity Information Service for Powys and the Brecon Beacons National Park. We have four rounds of 10 questions and after each round we'll give the answers and if you've taken part in our emoji quiz we'll be giving the answers to those at the end after round four. Okay here we go with the Big Wales Nature Quiz round one and we have a music round. So the first of 10 questions. Question one, how many blackbirds were baked in the nursery rhyme pie? Quite an easy one to start with. I'm sure everyone will know the answer to this. Question one, how many blackbirds were baked in the nursery rhyme pie? Question two, what mammal did Meatloaf sing about in 1977? Question two, what mammal did Meatloaf sing about in 1977? Question three, who is the lead singer of The Killers? A band that are still writing and performing today. Question three, who is the lead singer of The Killers? Question four, what enormous seabird did Fleetwood Mac write a song about? A little bit of a clue in the question. What enormous seabird did Fleetwood Mac write a song about? Give you a few seconds longer to have a think about that one. Question five, what type of bird includes turtle, stock, collared, and a Mancunian band? A Mancunian band being a band from Manchester, of course. Question five, what type of bird includes turtle, stock, collared, and the Mancunian band. Question six, what band might you emulate when surveying corvids? Corvids being birds such as rooks, ravens, magpies, for example. But Question six, what band might you emulate when surveying Corvids? Question 
Question seven, which mammal features in the U2 song, Elevation? Question seven, which mammal features in the U2 song, Elevation? Question eight, what group of cliff nesting seabirds sang about red wings and made up love songs in 2006? Question eight, what group of cliff nesting seabirds, there's a clue, sang about red wings and made up love songs in 2006. Question nine is the first of our moth or not rounds this evening. At the end of each round, there'll be two moth or not questions. So question nine, is this a moth or not? The common loot string. So question nine, is the common loot string a moth or is it a name that we've made up? So not a moth. Question nine, common loot string, is it a moth or not? And final question in the music round, the harp and dart, is this a moth or not? Question 10, harp and dart, is this a moth or not? Okay, I hope you did well on that round. Just a few more seconds and we'll reveal the answers. So here are the first five. There were four and 20 blackbirds baked in the nursery rhyme pie, of course. Now you can have a bonus point for this one if you wrote four and 20. So if you wrote 24, you get a point. If you wrote four and 20, you get two points. Question two, Meatloaf sang about a bat out of hell, of course. Question three, Brandon Flowers is the lead singer of The Killers. Question four, the enormous seabird that Fleetwood Mac wrote about was the albatross and the Mancunian band, which is also a stock, collared and turtle, or doves, was. Question six to 10 now. The band you might emulate when surveying corvids is counting crows. Crows being one of the corvids that I didn't mention during the question. Uh, U2, question seven, U2 sang about, about a mole living in a hole. Quite good lyrics for that song. So question seven was a mole. Question eight, the answer was the guillemots and they sang about red wings. And the first of our moth or not, question nine, the common loot string is a moth and we can see a photo of one there, thanks to Howard Burt. And final question 10, the harp and dart is not a moth. That's one that we made up the name of. And of course, there is a heart and dart. So number 10, question 10, the harp and dart is not a moth. That's the end of round one. I hope you did well, uh, possibly 11 points there. We got the four and 20. Um, so 
let's move on to round two. And for this, we're going to head up to North Wales and come in, please, Richard. Yeah, thank you, Ben. Uh, that's great. OK, right. So I'm Richard Gallum from Covnod and I'm going to be uh, doing round two. So that's the picture round. OK. Question one, whose skull is this? Question one, whose skull is this? Question two, what is this? Is it A, a rubber band? B, a New Zealand flatworm? C, a earthworm? Or D, an Australian flatworm. So is it A, a rubber band? B, a New Zealand flatworm? C, a dead earthworm? D, an Australian flatworm? Question three, what species is this? And for an extra bonus point, where does it breed? So what species is this and where does it breed for an extra bonus point? Question four, what is this close-up photo, photo of? So we've got four answers, possible answers. So A, E.T.'s hand. B, frog tadpole. C, toad tadpole. D, palmate newt eft. So what is this close-up photograph of? Is it A, E.T.'s hand, B, a frog tadpole, C, a toad tadpole, or D, a palmate newt eft? There's a, a, a bigger picture of it just to See what you think. Question five. Who nests in a hole like this? That's question five. Who nests in a hole like this? Question number six, what is this? Is it A, a hornet's nest? B, a giant puffball? A, sorry, C, an old football? Or D, ambergris or whale vomit? So what is this? Is it A, a hornet nest? B, a giant puffball, C, an old football, D, amber grease or whale vomit. Question seven, who is the odd one out from these three? Is it A, B or C? So 
who is the odd one out from these three images? Is it A, B, or C? Question eight. This blurry photograph, which I took myself, so I can say that. Is this a male or a female doctoral? So is this bird a male or female doctoral? Okay. Question nine, we're almost there. Is this a moth or is it not? Well, I suppose more, more appropriately, are these moths or are they not? Because <laughs> it's a mating pair. So is this species a moth or isn't it? Final question in this round, number 10, question 10. Is this a moth or is it not? So question 10, is this a moth or isn't it? Give you a few more moments just to clarify your thoughts. And then we'll go on to the answer. Okay, arguments over with. Answers are now. Right, so that interesting skull you saw there was actually a fox skull in question one. So very similar to a badger skull, surprisingly so, but slight differences in the, the ridge structure on top of the head so there's some nice internet resources if you want to check that out and compare the two. Uh, our question two that rubber band looking orange object well that was actually a New Zealand flatworm no it wasn't it was actually an Australian flatworm sorry so even I get confused so that strange orangey colour distinguishes is it from New Zealand flatworms, which tend to be darker, greeny, grey, brownish. A bit smaller as well than the New Zealand counterpart. Question three. Well, that was a, a hornet robber, a hoverfly. So, Voyacella zonaria. And for that bonus point, it, it actually breeds in all the frass at the bottom of a, a wasp nest or a hornet's nest. So. There you go. Interesting thing. So it looks like a hornet and it breeds below a hornet nest or a wasp nest. Uh, question four. Well, those weren't E.T.'s hands. They were actually a very close up image of a frog tadpole, a very young frog tadpole. So there were the, the gills, the external gills that you saw there. Question five. Well, that hole in the tree. Well, that was made by a great spotted woodpecker. Uh, very messy apparently, they leave lots of rubbish in the nest while they nest, they don't clean it out when they have their chicks in there, it can get pretty smelly. And that strange thing that I was holding, that was a giant puffball, big football shaped object, that was question six, so that was that big giant puffball, huge thing, old, old specimen of course, usually bright white. Question seven, well, the odd one out there was C, and that's because it's a slow worm, and that's actually a legless lizard, which I'm sure many of you knew. Uh, the other two were snakes of course. Uh, Question eight was, 
Was, was that a male or female doctoral? Well, it's actually a female. And surprisingly with doctorals, the female is brighter in plumage than the male. Uh, usually it's the reverse is true in most bird species. So an interesting exception to the rule. And question nine was moth or not? That wasp-like creature that we saw mating? Well, yes, that is a moth, even though it looks like a hornet. So it's a lunar hornet moth. One of the clear wings. And question 10, our final question in this round. Was that a moth or was it not? Well, no. That was a dingy skipper. Quite a little dark butterfly. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed the, the picture round. I'm going to hand you over to Karis now, and that will be for round three. Thanks, Richard. I'm Karis from West Wales Biodiversity Information Centre, or WWBIC, and I'll be doing round three, Nature Knowledge. Question one. What insect goes by the Welsh name Servant of the Snake? What insect goes by the Welsh name Servant of the Snake? Question two. Does a male glow worm glow? Does a male glow worm glow? Question three, what is the display ground of a black grouse called? A, disco, B, arena, C, black, or D, halt? I'll read that again. What is the display ground of the black grouse called? A. Disco. B. Arena. C. Black. D. Holt. Question four. What is the Meyer D. Monster? What is the Meyer D monster? Question five. Which Welsh lake is now the only British site for glutinous snail, Mixus glutinosa? A. Llangos Lake, Llensivada. B. Bala Lake, Llentegid. C. Nantamorch or D. Llandegfedd. I'll read it again. Which Welsh lake is now the only British site for the glutinous snail, 
Mixus glutinosa? Is it A, Hyangos Lake, Hyn Sivadan? B, Bala Lake, Hyn Teged? C, Nantamoch? Or D, Hyn Degfed? Question six. What type of squirrels will you find on Anglesey? What type of squirrel will you find on Anglesey? Question seven, which invertebrate goes by the Welsh name wood pig? Which invertebrate goes by the Welsh name wood pig? Question eight. The Latin name for Northern Shoveler is Anas Cluptiata. What is the English translation? Is it A, shield bearing duck, B, shovel duck, C, broad billed duck, or D, large billed duck? I'll read that again. The Latin name for Northern Shoveler is Anas Cluptiata. What is the English translation? A, shield bearing duck, B, shovel duck, C, broad billed duck, or D, large billed duck? Question nine is another moth or not question. Is brick a moth or not? Is brick the common name for a species of moth? Question 10, is confused a moth or not? Is confused the common name for a species of moth? And now for the answers for round three. Uh, question one was, what insect goes by the Welsh name servant of the snake? Which is Gwasanader. So Gwasanader is Welsh for dragonfly. Question two, does a male glowworm glow? And uh, no, it doesn't. So if you see a glowing glowworm, it's a female. Question three was, what is the display ground of the black grouse called? And it's called a lek. But I really wish it was disco. Uh, question four was, what is the Myrdi monster? And it's a millipede, 
named after where it was found in Myrji. Uh, question five was, which Welsh lake is now the only British site for a glutinous snail? And that is Bala Lake, Hintegid in North Wales. Question six, what type of squirrels will you find on Anglesey? And it is the red squirrel. You won't find any grey squirrels on Anglesey as they have been eradicated from the area. Um, question seven, which invertebrate goes by the Welsh name wood pig? And that is a woodlouse. Uh, in South Wales, we call them molchacoid. And in North Wales, they call them turchacoid. Uh, question eight, uh, what is the English translation of the Latin name for shovel a duck? And it's shield bearing duck, not shovel duck. And that's because of the broad bill, which looks like a shield or a shovel. Uh, question nine, is brick a moth? And it is a moth. Um, and question 10, is confused a moth or not? And it is a moth. And I think we all know how they were feeling when they tried to identify that moth. Uh, that's all from me on round three. Now to Elaine for round four. Diolch and Vala Karras, um, thank you very much. Um, welcome to South East Wales. Um, I'm Elaine Wright um, from Subrec, and I'll be talking you through round four, which is the only connect round. So you'll get um, a number of clues and you'll have to work out the connection between them um, to get to the answer. So let's get started. Question one. What is the connection between these four words? So A, barn, B, little, C, tawny, and D, long ears. So what is the connection between these four words? A, barn, B, little, C, tawny, and D, long-eared. So question number two. What is the connection between these four species? A, gorse, B, dandelion, C, coltsfoot, and D, buttercup. So what is the connection between these four things? A, gorse, B, dandelion, C, coltsfoot, and D, buttercup. Question number three. What is the connection between these three places? A, the Brecon Beacons, B, the Pembrokeshire Coast, and C, Snowdonia. So what is the connection between these three locations? A, the Brecon Beacons, B, the Pembrokeshire Coast, and C, Snowdonia. Question number four. What is the connection between these four things? A, throat, B, tailed bumblebee, C, campion, and D, marbled. So what is the connection between these four things? A, throat, B, tailed bumblebee, C, campion, and D, marbled. Question number five. What is the connection between these four words? A, parrot, B, oily, C, snowy, and D, scarlet. So what is the connection here? A, parrot, B, oily, C, snowy, and D, scarlet. Question number six. 
what is the connection between these five areas? So A, Gwent, C, Montgomeryshire, sorry, B, Montgomeryshire, C, South and West Wales, D, North Wales, and E, Radnorshire. Question six, what is the connection between these five areas? A, Gwent, B, Montgomeryshire, C, South and West Wales, D, North Wales, and E, Radnorshire. Question number seven. What is the location, what is the connection between these four locations? So A, Whitland, B, Talbot Green, C, Bangor, and D, Brecon. What is the connection between these four locations? A, Whitland, B, Talbot Green, C, Bangor, and D, Brecon. Number eight, what is the connection between these four species? A, weasel, B, pine martin, C, otter, and D, badger. What is the connection between these four species? A, weasel, B, pine martin, C, otter, and D, badger. Question number nine. So again, we're gonna finish this round off with a couple of moth or not questions. So is this a moth or is it not the apple blossom? Question nine, is apple blossom a moth or is it not? And question 10, is this a moth or not? The June high flyer. So is June high flyer a moth or is it not? So I'll give you a couple more seconds to sort your answers out for that round. We'll go on to the answers. So question number one. Um, little, tawny, barn and long-eared are all types of owl, so owl was the connection. Question number two, those are all plants that have yellow flowers, so um, gorse, dandelion, buttercup. Question number two, those are all plant species that have yellow flowers, so gorse, Dandelion, Coxfoot and Buttercup, they all have yellow flowers, so that was the connection. Question number three, the Brecon Beacons, Pembrokeshire Coast and Snowdonia, those are all the national parks in Wales. We've only got three of them, hence there only being three clues for that question. Question number four, the connection was white, so those are all um, species names that had the word white removed from them, so white throat, white-tailed bumblebee, white campion, and marbled white. So the word white was the connecting point. Question five are all species of wax cap. So parrot wax cap, oily wax cap, snowy wax cap, and scarlet wax cap. Question number six, those areas are all wildlife trusts in Wales. So um, we've got five wildlife trusts in Wales, hence there being five clues for that question. Um, so Gwent Wildlife Trust, uh, Montgomeryshire Wildlife Trust, etc, etc. Question number seven was a little bit more tricky, perhaps. Um, those are the four locations of the local environmental record centres in Wales. So we have um, Wibbick over in Whitland and Carmarthenshire. Um, we're in Talbot Green at Subrec. Then Bangor is um, Covnod up in the north and Brecon is Biss in the middle. So. Um, you know your record centre as well if you've got that question right. 
Question number eight were, was mustelids. So um, weasel, pine martin, otter and badger are all mustelids. Um, you can have half a point for mammal, but we were looking for mustelids really, because um, that was the family that they're all in. And then the final two um, were both not moths. So apple blossom um, is not a moth. You may have heard of peach blossom, which is a, a natural moth, unlike apple blossom. And we have both May high flyer and July high flyers, but we don't have June high flyers. So June high flyer was not a moth. So hopefully you enjoyed that round. I'm also going to give you the answers to our emoji quiz. So this was circulated before the event. And hopefully you've got a chance to have a look at it and crack our cryptic clues to get to species. So let's have a look at the answers for this. So the first one was horse chestnut leaf miner. So horse, chestnut, leaf, miner. Number two was foxgloves. Number three was chicken of the woods, which is a type of fungi. Number four was black cap, the bird. Number five was bee fly. Formulius major. Number six was lesser horseshoe bat, so lesser horseshoe bat. Number seven was a uh, our invasive non-native interloper, so not really a, a Welsh uh, or wonderful piece of wildlife, but unfortunately does exist in Wales. Um, and that's Japanese knotweed, so Japanese knotweed. Question eight was sandwich turn, fairly self-explanatory. Number nine, yellow brain fungus. And number 10, orange ladybird. Number 11 was heart's tongue, um, a type of fern. And number 12 was silverfish. Number 13 was ghost slug. Um, we didn't have a slug emoji, so we had to remove the shell from the snail uh, emoji to get to a slug. Number 14 was red kite. Number 15, um, you probably haven't seen one of these, but they, we do get them um, off the coast of Wales. That was an angel shark. Number 16 was Welsh hawkweed. So one of the many hawkweeds um, that we have, uh, one of them is called the Welsh hawkweed. Number 17 was Snowdon rainbow leaf beetle. So a, a, a great um, Welsh speciality, this is the um, Snowdon rainbow leaf beetle. So we had a, a Welsh mountain, which was Snowdon and rainbow leaf beetle. Number 18 was dormouse. Number 19 was deadly nightshade. And number 20 was a stag beetle. So hopefully you enjoyed um, doing the emoji quiz. We had a lot of fun coming up with all those um, clues for you. So um, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Um, hope that you've enjoyed the quiz overall. Um, you can share your scores now on social media so you can brag to others how well you've done. Um, your total score should be out of 62. So there was 42 this evening, possible points, because there were two bonus questions in earlier rounds. And then there was possible 20 to get of the emoji quiz. So let us know how you've done out of um, 62. Um, you can share it on our Facebook event. So follow this um, web address to get to there. Uh, or you can tell us on Twitter um, using the hashtag WNW2021. Or you can just write it in the comments on this video as well and let us know there. Um, this has been a Wales Nature Week event, so um, hopefully it's got the week off to a good start for you. Um, hope that you enjoy the rest of Wales Nature Week. I know there's lots of things going on from other organisations. Um, so good night from Lurk Wales, and we hopefully will see you again soon. <laughs>